Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Find Out, the show that gives you all you need to know on the ins and the outs of the automotive world. Brought to you by VHIX. Now if you're anything like me, and I'm guessing you probably are, one of the most important things you can do is keep your wheels on the road. One of the best ways to do that, a dependable suspension. I'm your host Jeff Wilson, and today is a personal dedication to the world of suspensions. We all know suspensions are important. At least I'm always reading and hearing about them. Well, not really. But we are going to talk about them today, and we're going to talk with our resident expert, Michael Pettiford. Michael, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Let's jump right into it. What is a suspension? Well, a suspension is just springs, shocks, sway bars, wheels, tires, and brakes. Those things that support a car. What does a suspension do? Well, they keep the wheels on the ground so that the car's braking, cornering, and handling is enhanced. Okay. Little Birdie told me that there's two types of suspensions, and I bet you know what they are. <laughs> yeah, they're independent and dependent. Okay, what's independent? Independent is where each one of the wheels is suspended separately, and it goes over each bump all by itself. So with all by itself, I'm betting we can guess what dependent does, but tell <laughs> us anyway. Dependent is where the right and the left half of the suspension is attached by a solid axle. Are there different qualities of suspensions? Yes, the more you get into the sports cars, the more harsh of a suspension you're gonna get. And why and it, is that? Uh, because the springs are stiffer, the sway bars are bigger, the shocks are tighter, the brakes are bigger, the tires are bigger, everything is more geared towards performance. A regular sedan will be, will have a nice soft ride, it'll go over bumps and it'll ride real nicely. Whereas a sports car, it'll be a little more taut and it'll corner better, but if you go over a bump, then you'll feel that bump more with a sports car. So for cars, there's a certain type of suspension. For right. trucks, is there a different type of suspension? Well, there is. Uh, for trucks, especially if you're towing, you have to have a heavier suspension, especially at the rear, to support the extra weight. So you'll get auxiliary springs on the back, so that when you put that weight on the truck, okay. it won't just dip down, it'll stay at pretty much the same height. So it's to protect it from kind of pulling the vehicle down to the ground. Yes, okay. and so that you're not looking up at the sky when you're driving. As I go to VHIX and I go to make a buying decision and I'm considering different suspensions, mm -hmm. what kind of decisions do I need to make? You've got to know what your needs are before you come to the dealership. Like, how much towing am I going to, I, am I going to need? Uh, am I going to be towing a 20-foot trailer or just putting motorcycles in the back of my truck? Okay. And then you'll select a suspension based on what your needs are. Okay, great. We've gotten a lot of information on suspensions. Thanks to Michael for all the great info. My pleasure. Thanks to Discount Master Auto Repair of Longmont, Colorado for having us out. I'm your host, Jeff Wilson. We'll see you next time on Let's Find Out. <laughs>